Jeremy Clarkson published a piece on Meghan Markle in The Sun this week. It's pretty disgusting. He wrote this, I hate Meghan Markle, not like I hate Nicola Sturgeon or Rose West, the serial killer. I hate her on a cellular level. At night, I'm unable to sleep as I lie there grinding my teeth and dreaming of the day when she is made to parade naked through the streets of every town in Britain while the crowds chant shame and throw lumps of excrement at her. Everyone who's my age thinks the same way. It's a reference to the scene in Game of Thrones when Cersei is made to, um, you know, do the shame parade naked through the streets of King's Landing. But it also shows you the kind of horrible, twisted eroticism of the hatred which is lobbed at Meghan Markle. And this was actually something that I was discussing a little bit with Richard Seymour in a recent downstream interview that we did about Twitter. And we were talking a bit about some of the hatred that I get. And it's just like, well, why is it so eroticized? Why is it so much about sex and sexual humiliation? And, and one of the things that he was saying is that like, you know, that's kind of the thing which is like unlocked by this like horrible panopticon of like media coverage and image. And particularly when you've got a woman of color like Meghan Markle, who is absolutely, you know, stunning. She's a beautiful woman, just undeniably. And yet her race and her gender are being used as, as the reasons to throw hate upon her, to say that she lacks class and dignity, that she's straight out of Compton, that she's conniving and manipulative. Uh, you know, she's the puppet master while Prince Harry, you know, nearly dances for her delectation and delight. There's already this sort of strange double-edgedness to it, which is she's clearly beautiful. You can't stop thinking about her whether that's because of, you know, fascination or admiration or a kind of pathological fixation. And it also doesn't escape me that, like, many of these men are, you know, horrible chauvinistic boors themselves who I think are, are deeply threatened by women and, and have used sex as a means of... of demeaning women and, and trying to put them in their place. So I think that that's what explains this horrible eroticism of making her parade naked, this desire to sexually humiliate her. Because I think on some level, Meghan Markle reminds Jeremy Clarkson of his own impotence. And I mean impotence in a figurative sense, a psychological sense. I've got no insight into the contents of Jeremy Clarkson's trousers, and thank goodness for that. But I think that that's why it's so weirdly sexualized. I think it's gross. Um, his daughter also thinks it's gross. Um, this is Jeremy Clarkson's daughter. My views are and have always been clear when it comes to misogyny, bullying and the treatment of women by the media. I want to make it very clear that I stand against everything that my dad wrote about Meghan Markle and I remain standing in support of those that are targeted with online hatred. Jeremy Clarkson now has come out and, what can I call this an apology? Not quite. He said this, Oh dear, I've rather put my foot in it. In a column I wrote about Meghan, I made a clumsy reference to a scene in Game of Thrones, and this has gone down badly with a great many people. I'm horrified to have caused so much hurt, and I shall be more careful in future. Ash, do you believe that Jeremy Clarkson is genuinely horrified to have caused hurt? Is that an emotion you sort of uh, find plausible? No, and he sort of does this thing. He did the same thing when he said the N-word. You know, there were all sorts of racial slurs and kind of like nudge, nudge, wink, wink, misogynistic and homophobic comments on Top Gear all the time. And he always does the thing of like, oh, I'm just a clumsy oaf who doesn't know how to navigate this complicated world of political correctness. Oh, aren't I just like your dad? That's been his way of laundering or making palatable like quite horrendous forms of bigotry throughout his career. So he's just, he's playing a very old song here. And I don't think it's genuinely contrite at all. And the thing about Jeremy Clarkson is that he's just so, so utterly charmless. And he's someone who's become famous, I think, not because he he is particularly witty or intelligent or 
kind or insightful. He's someone who's become famous because what he does is he creates permission for other people to be their worst selves, to hold being your worst self, your most unreconstructed self, your most bigoted and poor self, as though it's a kind of virtue. And that's the kind of investment that people have in him. And so he's just he's just sticking to that same songbook. I really can't stand Jeremy Clarkson, but I would rather gouge out my own eyes than see him paraded naked. I've got to say that. Yeah.